I've always felt struck by patterns. When, as a child, I saw for the first time folk dancers dancing on a lawn in the late summer, I nearly began crying. I could sense a harmony between the dancers. They moved effortlessly between each other, or so it seemed, forming circles that changed into lines, crossing and spinning, never bumping into one another. In their colorful costumes, they looked to me like a formation of birds in the sky, a part of nature, a miracle. The following winter, I began dancing, and I remember the teacher repeating, Eben, the ceiling, don't look at your feet, move them, but look at the ceiling. To help build a bridge over this abyss between the concrete physical difficulties and the inner world of the actor, their ceiling, is my task as a teacher. I still remember my hitchhiking through North Africa in my youth, after having lived for a long time in a big city with its meetings between people, gatherings in bars, intricacy, intrigues, trying to earn money for our living. Being back on the road was like coming home. The immense silence, the desert, the wind over the dunes, or waves striking the coast and the long, desolate roads confronted me with a dimension I'd forgotten, and another time seemed to emerge, my own time. After the end of my project with a group of actors called Farfa, which lasted from 1983 to 87, I had no intention of initiating a new pedagogical project. But in 1989, I met some young actors who convinced me to lead a new seminar. However, when the seminar ended, after one month, everybody, including myself, wanted to continue. With this first encounter, we had already planted the seeds which would grow and develop into a specific language of physical and vocal training and work with performances that continues to this day. <laughs>
la palomita blanca y vamos a volar, a volar. Y yo el palomito azul, no llores negra, no llores no. I had been working with the Bridge of Winds for about 10 years when, in 1999, another group was born, the New Winds. I had arranged for the two groups to meet and work together for the first time for the project called Vinen, the Wind, which took place in Western Jutland in 2003. Since then, we have preferred to stick to that model and we call both groups the Bridge of Winds. I remember when I started here, I had a training before. But uh, in the first day, Eben said, please show your work to the others. And I showed my, my, my work, my training. After the training, Eben said, Carlos, I don't want to see your body. I want to see the light that comes from your body. And this was very, very important for me because uh, then she tried to teach me how to put light in my work, no? how to develop the fluxus continuo in my work. In the beginning, of course, was uh, even the, the, the main figure uh, that was important for me to follow. But then with the years, uh, I understood that also this relationship with me, my colleagues, was very, very important because uh, each of them has a different way of working and uh, I could also learn and take and steal things of their work because each time we came back home we were developing the things we have been working together. I started with the, the young winds or the, the new winds, the European uh, winds which is a, a particular group and I think it has uh, been wonderful to expand the group and also have the influence from the South American people, uh, the, the older group, and that we are doing projects together. I think that has really been a, a great step forward to, to actually expand. <coughs> to feel that I am a musician and I don't want to be an actress. It's just a way uh, of what you are thinking about you inside the, the group. It's an individual point of view. If I look at the group, I see soup of people all together with all their personal individual characters and individual personalities and they are completely different between each other but and it's beautiful because they can be in relation with each one of them in the same time. We never spoke about what is the essence of these exercises or why to do them, but uh, the, the exercises themselves, they revealed what was there to be learned out of them. This completely changed my life after that, in, in many ways. I found my body, I kind of find uh, this kind of way of working that uh, I feel very difficult to imagine that I would work in some other way and with this way, I don't mean a certain kind of aesthetics of the theatre or something like that, but this, this kind of a demand that I demand from myself and from the people that I work with, I try to ask from them this same attitude, could be maybe the best word. It's kind of a, a special relationship. It's not a, 
an ordinary teacher-pupil relationship. And for me, bringing the older group into the exchange is a gives already a, a lot of new influences and a new energy and new exchange possibilities within the training. It really places also the responsibility back on the actors to go deeper, it, because it's not something that Eben is, you know, giving. She is actually just the outside eye, the observer, and a facilitator, I would say, in mm -hmm. a way. But we are the ones to create within it and, yeah. and, and find new ways. When I met her for the first time, I was part of a group of clowns in Argentina. And it was very difficult because I was looking so much forward to find the union of these uh, two ways of working. The work with uh, Ivan was like m much more solitary uh, uh, yeah, in some way. Because, uh, of course, even if you have a relationship with the people, there is nobody looking outside, just Ivan. Uh, there is not an audience uh, you, you have to seduce or something like that. We are more concentrated in, in our work. What I'm feeling here is very important is to stay attached to a mental path that is not only a physical path. And uh, I think in Eben's training this is a sort of risk that it can be only dance. It should not be like this. So how to, in this exercise, to, to, to build a flow, a mental also flow, that is not only rhythmical or physical, but is also with associations. So somehow what I'm trying to keep attached is that I'm making theatre, that I'm telling something, telling something to me, to myself. Immediately when I found this thread, I found the coherence in the training. There is a similarity to the Japanese martial arts, like you do a movement thousands of times, but you have to find the newness in it or have the beginner's mind. And I think in a way this training is similar. You have to go through the layers of being bored. And then when you are bored, if you are searching yourself as a performer, you have to find, even in the subtleties, find nuances and differences and how you attack the differences. And I, I feel that now, some, there have been some periods that I, I was struggling with it. It's funny, now, after 10 years almost, there is some new things or, yeah, it's getting more clear to me that it's really entirely up to me how I attack or how I interpret the training and what I do with it and to find life. Numa sessão de dança dos ventos, eu posso uh, agir e me sentir e provavelmente transmitir a imagem para quem está vendo. Posso ser uma criança, posso ser um, um guerreiro, posso ser uma folha sendo jogada ao vento, posso ser uma mulher também. In my work with the Bridge of Winds, I discovered that we could divide exercises into different sections, each of them developing a certain kind of energy. When I came to Odin Theater in 1966 and throughout the following years, we thought that the kinds of exercises we used did not matter. We thought that we could modulate any kind of exercise as we wished. But working with the Bridge of Winds, we began to understand that certain types of exercises will automatically develop a certain kind of energy. The wind dance, the samurai, the slow motion, the so-called green energy and the out-of-balance exercises are all examples of these different types of energy.
I participate this time so short, like a few days, because he's three months, and he really needs. Uh, he, it, it's hard to to be half into this work. It's yeah, it's yeah, really. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's really difficult. It's nice to bring your kids. I love this. Okay, to to have him hear all the the sound of different languages and all the people. It's wonderful to to have this family to bring kids to to this. It's, it's funny that it even makes it fit into into the work. Uh, she she likes to have the babies there. So the tired samurai wakes up in the morning and he goes into the woods looking for something. I remember so clearly that she told me uh, it is necessary for you to go first with the eyes to the, the point and then the action and not to do uh, it at the same time. She didn't say you have to create a relation with. And in comes a very small samurai yori. Esse trabalho abre portas para muitas personalidades, para muitos seres. Atuando, o treinamento me trouxe, por exemplo, com uma energia masculina muito mais clara, muito mais precisa, com, por exemplo, quando a gente faz o samurai. Ao, uh, determinados tipos de energia que nós trabalhamos no treinamento, eles acordam uma potência que é intrínseca a mim como ser humano, não só como mulher. Tatiana and Mika, they start to do the rhythm of the wind dance with the sticks on the floor. The great uh, idea even had on, on, the, uh, on the training to, to give us just a very simple technical base to work on. In the samurai is just three steps, very precise. In the wind dance is this three times step. In different cultures or different countries, you, you have a very similar step. I mean, uh, vals, for example, is very similar. Also, there are some Latin American kind of dances that has this step in the same time, but uh, it is different because it's much more on the earth. In, in this wind dance, 
is the same, but you have the accent on the ground, and then these two steps up is more jumped. E bem fala para nós que cada sessão de treinamento é como um organismo vivo, que tem um início, um desenvolvimento e um fim. E dentro dessa linha, muitas uh, qualidades de energia, de caráteres, de intensidades acontecem. Tanto individualmente, quando nós temos o contato com o outro. O contato com os outros atores interfere na, na, na emanação, naquilo que nós irradiamos como, como energia. L'esercizio fuori equilibrio è per me molto importante perché è un esercizio dove il corpo perde l'equilibrio e va avanti o in un'altra direzione, comunque perde l'equilibrio e soltanto all'ultimo istante si protegge e questo proteggersi nel momento giusto crea una nuova energia. Perdere l'equilibrio, rischiare, ma trovare il punto giusto per riprendere le forze e andare avanti. Even proposed uh, training from the Japanese, no way of working. Uh, she was very fascinated with, with this, not that she could see very clearly uh, this energy flowing from the center. I remember in the first time it was just to work with this ribbon in this different part of the body. We used in, in the hips and uh, then the chest and then the head and sometimes also in the legs, under the knees. And then we should look for different ways of holding the, the arms. And uh, I remember so clearly that in a certain moment when we have trained a little on, on it, each one of us could show the sequence we have created. Even if you didn't express anything special, it, it was dramatic by itself. When I arrived here, I had a really strong work, but even put me in the jail. But jail not in a bad sense. Jail is in the, okay, you must hold, you must hold yourself, Kant. You must hold because if you hold yourself, the energy, the energy transpass. Eu penso assim como algumas, algumas tarefas principais que nós temos numa sessão de treinamento. Uma é 
uh, saber olhar para si, saber qual é a, a própria necessidade como ator ou como atriz. Outra é saber olhar para o outro, a, a fazer com que esses contatos, com que essa relação com o outro também gere força, gere potência. E outro é captar essa, o que está no espaço, o que está no ar, que é invisível. E, claro, para finalizar, transformar tudo isso em precisão, em forma. We are working always on the relationship between uh, you and the space or you and another person. That's not a, a work closed because the, the thing that's happening is always in between. C'è una terra visibile, è una terra invisibile per l'attore. La terra visibile è il lavoro quotidiano di ogni giorno, quello che fai. La terra invisibile è quello che accade per caso. E non esiste il caso senza il quotidiano. La voce per me è molto più vicina all'invisibile, alla terra invisibile, quella che ti fa scoprire qualcosa che non sai tu dove vai. The training of the voice with the Bridge of Winds has been based on resonators as it was at Audien Theatre when I myself joined the group in 1966. Working with the different resonators always begins with the actor's normal voice. That voice can then find a sounding board in the chest, the stomach, the head, back of the head, etc. Many actors tend to lose contact with the center of their body when they have to engage the head resonator, making it thin and fine, like a singer in a choir. But the actor's voice should, as a starting point, not be manipulated. Later, you can, of course, make all the fine and different voices you want to, imitating animals, sounds of nature, or different ways of singing. But in the beginning, this center, the actor's own voice, is the most important thing. When we train the voice, each actor is speaking his or her own language, even when we train together in a group. I think the work with the voice is, is the less technical because it's, it's the most uh, personal. I mean, it, it depends so, so much. That's why she's coming and she's relaxing your body and she's making this massage and, and then uh, she's, she's helping you in, in your mind. She's not saying uh, your knee is too it's out. No, she's giving to you impulses so you can feel relaxed and then let, let the, go, the voice come, even in the, in the concert. Mm -hmm. I think uh, there is an inner process, it's not that we are singing songs. There is an inner process in each song. There is a, I call it meaning, but it doesn't have to be a, a sentimental meaning, it, but something that touches you, and with the voice is immediate. 
como se somente aquela veia viva me causasse nojo. O Senhor pode representar-me como quiser, não importa, até mesmo vestida, contanto que eu tenha ao menos os braços nus, porque veja... Nazwana mnie Izabela Jurkowska, mój ojciec Andrzej popełnił me zalias, żeniąc się z moją matką Danutą, połączył w ten sposób dwa zupełnie różne światy wysokiej wszechstronnie wykształconej arystokracji oraz ubogich rolników półanalfabetów Heleny i Stanisława. Es gabe gamais en suas faces com as lágrimas candentes que há de derramar para que ela saiba que mais doloroso que o dente de uma cobra é ter um filho ingrato. Escuta, suspende tua intenção. Com a moça de Roca. Escuta, natureza, querida deusa, escuta, suspende tua intenção. Tudo lá, segunda, esta criatura seca seu ventre. É, que é do seu corpo degradado, não nasce-lhe um filho para poder honrá-la. Ouvinte, o que culto magno cal? Eu tu ao nido me assia se tá aí, eu vejo o que vê a la que este me mal. Eu quero que vê a vê a la que este me tal. Vejo o chamamento de uma alma só. When I began at Odin Teatre, the day consisted of two separate parts. From seven in the morning, we worked with physical and vocal training. In the afternoon, we made improvisations, which were fixed and repeated. We developed propositions for scenes, we were confronted with texts, and I remember Eugenio Barba coming back from a journey in England with meters and meters of colorful fabric for our costumes. Everything pointed in one overwhelming and for me as a novice nearly utopian direction, a new performance. It was only natural for me to pass on this experience of the work to the Bridge of Winds. The training is not a universe closed in itself, it's a path with a perspective, a bridge that carries you to the promised land, the performance. Non è un personaggio, è una figura che viene richiesta da Iben attraverso due o tre indicazioni. Iben sa darci l'impulso giusto per andare avanti. E con l'impegno di, di tutti noi nasce questa figura. Questa figura comincia a interagire con tutto quello che sono i canti, le danze e, e tante altre cose insomma, che noi facciamo. Este trabajo con, con Iben y el Puente de los Vientos me ha ayudado también a estar lejos del sentido de lo que se nombra como eh, interpretación del actor y entender cada vez más cómo a partir de las acciones físicas, a partir del trabajo con la energía, yo puedo construir también un personaje.
Basicamente, o que eu acho que determinou muito a, a participação com esse grupo foi essa sabedoria de que o ator tem que estar trabalhando constantemente sobre si mesmo. Quase como um, um mergulho em, em regiões desconhecidas humanas, regiões feias, regiões lindas, regiões assustadoras. Depois de conhecer, de experimentar essas regiões, é como se nós criássemos habilidade para dançar com elas. Conhecendo esses aspectos, saber como manobrar eles em relação ao exterior. É como se o treinamento do ator, um espaço e um tempo para o ator trabalhar sobre si, criasse um repertório de muitas vidas diferentes. Essa oportunidade de tu criar dentro do teatro, não a partir de um texto de fora ou de uma, da direção de um olhar de fora, mas tu criar a partir daquilo que o teu próprio Uh, jardim pessoal floresce é muito interessante, é muito prazeroso. Yeah. I am a classical trained musician with uh, my instrument is record. I started in Holland, uh, actually early music. So I was specialized, definitely not in contemporary music, but in uh, Baroque music. When I entered the group, they had this fantastic voice work, but they were not really working on musical aspects. And they had these fantastic songs coming basically from the conscious of each participant. We had in this atmosphere, we had a number of very nice meetings in Ryder at the House of Evans. These meetings that would be in the middle of the snow, in the middle of the winter, and uh, the first half hour in the morning would always uh, be very, very cold because the oven had to get in gear before you could actually feel any kind of heat. even wanted to start a new group because there were so many people who were interested in getting into the Bridge of the Winds, kept the name New Winds. When the two groups started performing together, each group had its set of songs that I had been working with and now we wanted to make it uh, into one concert actually and that, that is what you can see today is this sequence of songs. It's a combination of the works of the two groups. Yes, and the music itself, it's a very good, uh, it's a very good tool for actor also, because like Nikolai said today also in the rehearsals, it, you can find all the same things here. And, uh, and you cannot be bodily dead when you sing. You have to be as present as doing, when you are doing the wind dance or whatever. Ja nie widzę ciemka, będę czy pomogę za to piłać.
Bem, o trabalho com as canções é um, um dos pontos mais ricos que, que esse seminário pode proporcionar para a gente. Imagine que nós, assim, os latinos, todos falam que nós praticamente falamos cantando. E aí você canta uma música em, em polonês que é que é uma, uma realidade completamente distante. Não é só a palavra, mas é o acento, é o sentido desse som. E é um exercício enorme, porque nós temos que trabalhar tons ressonadores. E isso faz com que é, nós, atores, não cantando mais com um texto, interpretando, a gente tenha outras possibilidades de usar essas, esses recursos. Além de poder dilatar também o nosso, nosso sentido, nossa audição, nossa sensibilidade com a música, com, com a melodia, com a palavra. Already, while I work with the Farfa group, we try to present our dance and street performance in unusual contexts as so-called barters. I found it important to transmit this part of our work, which Odin Theater discovered in South Italy in the beginning of the 70s. It had completely changed our way of looking at theater and the possibilities of exchanging rather than presenting. We play for you, and you have to pay us back with something similar. A dance for a song, a poem for a piece of music, your story for my story. With the Bridge of Winds, we use the principle of barter both in Denmark, Poland, Brazil, Italy and Colombia, and in different social situations, in a refugee camp, a church, a school or at a feast including a whole village, The actors had to organize the event themselves, caring for all the practical details, contacting the leader of the school, the priest, the person in charge in the camp or someone from a library or the mayor in a village. The actors would also be responsible for and making sure that benches were put up so that everybody could see, taking care of the light if we played at night, and arranging the sequences of scenes, songs and dances. I think what, what moved me most, or what has deeply affected me with working with Eben and with the, through her with the, some of the principles or the visions of the Odin Theatre is the, the, the idea of barters. Since I was a child, when I, my mom gave me a book about the Odin Theatre where I saw that actors were out in, the, in little villages or in, in the jungle or in, in very outskirt places, There was something in me that really hooked me. And that was when I was very young, like 13. And, and funny enough, when you, sometimes you meet things when you're very young, and then after many years, it's like a circle, and you actually come back to the place where something that touched you is, is becoming real. I think the best what I've saw 
It was last year in Colombia because when we went to this ghetto, it was so beautiful because people really enjoyed it. They had really this need to see theater. And this is also the beauty of the barter because it's usually normal people who don't go to the theater, but they are just sharing their culture and we are sharing our stuff. It's a fantastic way of meeting people uh, in the small local communities and that you bring who you are and what you can do and everyone brings something for this minestrone and it's, um, it's wonderful because it's really about being together. Outside with the winds, I'm working as singer and storyteller and with traditional dances. I have learned from old people all over Denmark. I have went to them for connect me myself to the old culture in Denmark. So I have got into the families like a daughter and learned how to play accordion and learn the songs and the dances. And I have done that since I was very young. I think I was 14 when I started my interest of this. After I use it in very different ways. I use it here in the theater and I use it to give other their connection to the culture. Also I use these songs and dances to make in change with other cultures. I think it's about creating a, a meeting place, like a market square, where, where the space is created for things to be, be put in. These are, are, are very important moments, and, and they are enriching for me. That's for me the exchange. You know, some, you can see that people flower from a project and, and get a self-esteem or, or self-empowerment through actually realizing that they have something to offer. In this society, so often it gets eliminated or not valued. Theater is just a way to get in contact. It's just a way to meet people. And uh, this encounter for me became the most important thing. All these things you can learn, it is just a, a way to prepare to that moment.
Frieda, uh, and I'm from Denmark. Uh, I've been in the Bridge of Winds since I was born um, because my mother has been there for 22 years and then me and my sister uh, was born within the group. In the beginning of course we were not participating because we were babies but we s slowly got small tasks and small parts of the concert and in the different shows. It, it became very natural. It was never, even never asked, do you want to participate? It was always, maybe you could do this. And we, yes, we can, because we were just sitting and watching and waiting, um, never bored because, but, but, uh, but it became very natural to watch their training. The way she's working is also not to make a very big limit between the, the life out of theatre and in the theatre. So I think she likes very much that the children are coming and growing into the process where she is working. I think also it has changed the group a lot that it was happening because it was not a decision, it was just something that was happening. I don't know how it would have been without the Bridge of Winds, but I think it might have been quite different. It is incredible to have these people, the master and the place where you can come back from time to time and kind of recharge your battery because it feels like it's something permanent. Il futuro, il futuro per me e per noi del Ponte dei Venti, almeno io credo che sia portare avanti il lavoro di Iben, l'eredità e quello che lei ci ha dato, portarla avanti fino a che possiamo. Ho fatto un sogno molti anni fa, il sogno era che io percorrevo una strada sterrata e mentre camminavo da tanti sentieri che io attraversavo venivano persone che in qualche modo avevo conosciuto nella mia vita precedente. E questo penso che sia proprio il cammino che sto facendo. Perché Iben ci lava l'anima ogni volta. Anche quando non ci vediamo, sentiamo che stiamo insieme. Io sento che stiamo insieme. L'importanza fondamentale per noi è il teatro. Alla fine tu ti senti che è un compito, che è un'eredità. È un amore per il lavoro, una passione per il lavoro che tu devi portare avanti. What do we know about the traces we leave behind us? I still get fascinated by patterns, not only in the actors dancing and singing, but the breathing, vibrant patterns we draw with our lives and actions. Invisible the moment we draw them, half visible to us when we look back, and only fully visible for those who come after us.
Da 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 da